Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, it's it's late at night. It's in the middle of the night, okay? Um, it's a pajama reading. Get your jammies on, Cancer. I'm in my robe. Um, anyway, listen, I'm doing this reading in the middle of the night, Cancer, because someone can't sleep, okay? I feel like your person is like, I'm getting the vision of somebody laying there, tossing, turning, crying. Um, there's a lot of tears going on. I'm being led to use the baby deck too. Um, so definitely a love reading here tonight, Cancer. Anyway, this reading is for the collective. So just take what resonates, my darlings, and leave the rest behind. Okay, don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Oh, man. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, comments, you guys, shares, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for being up late at night with me. Oh, there is just no passion there anymore. Oh, there is just no passion in there anymore. Okay, so Cancer, I'm feeling like, and here's all the tears. This person is literally drowning um, in their own tears, okay? I'm hearing drown in my own tears, right? Ray Charles. Um, yeah, they're, okay, here's their dilemma, okay? This person is with a karmic, and the karmic is pressuring this person to get married, okay? Um, and there's no passion there. I feel like the karmic is like, well, listen, if we get married, um, if we get married, maybe we can revitalize this, you know, or maybe she's saying, well, since, since you, since your wand isn't working anyway, we might as well get married. We've been together for so long and, and, you know, um, I'm maybe the only one who can deal with your wand not working or something like that because this person, there's no possible way they can share passion right now if you know what I'm saying. There's something wrong with their wand, okay? Or it's just not, they don't have passion for this person anymore. And I feel like all they do is watch you. I feel like this person could even be stalking you when they can. Um, I'm getting the sense, though, that this karmic watches them, um, everything that they do, because they know that this is about to come to an end. If this person got married to the karmic already, it's, it's going to end in a divorce. This is ending here. This masculine doesn't really want to have anything to do with this karmic. And I feel like they're, they could even be already breaking off some kind of engagement, Okay, they definitely don't want to be married to this karmic. So now they're drowning and look at here's all those tears, right? This is also a karmic storm about to hit. All this person can do is like, just think about you and cry, watch you and cry. Okay, look at all, look at all of the tears watching you and crying. Do you see what I'm seeing here? See all the tears here? Um, yeah, that's all they can do. Wanting to come back around, Cancer. Okay. Yeah, but they're afraid. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we're living our fears. I feel like they're afraid to break free from this karmic, okay? Because they know that, see, this is a toxic karmic energy right here. She's got horns, you guys, okay? Um, so this is a toxic karmic, and they're afraid of what this karmic is going to do. They're afraid of the retaliation. They're afraid of maybe, uh, maybe this karmic will... Um, spread gossip about their wand not working or maybe this karmic will fight with them or fight with you you know she's going to retaliate somehow and this is what this person is afraid of and they're sitting here thinking to themselves what have i done okay what have i done what about what kind of mess have i gotten myself into they may feel really stuck as well 
But this is how this person is tonight, up all night, wide awake, rolling around in their bed, crying, watching you, okay? Yep, calling out to you energetically. Very, very panicked. I feel like this person may feel like they need your help or something in this. Maybe, um, Cancer, I'm, I'm really sensing that you were always there for this person. You were the voice of reason, right? Um, you would give them advice. You knew exactly what to say. You nurtured this person. Maybe you made them feel better about things. They feel like they need your help and advice right now, but there's no one there to talk to them, okay, because they pushed you out of their life. You could be um, really feeling this person's energy, especially at night while you're trying to sleep. If you, you could be even be having some dreams about them. They could be getting into your dreams at night, okay? Because, yeah, you were their healer. You made this person feel better. They want to run to you, Cancer, for you to, you know, so that you will make them feel better, but they got themselves into this mess, if any, they're thinking to themselves, if anybody can can fix this for them or make them feel better or ease their pain, it's going to be you. They're, they're calling out to you. Um, you may even hear this, like, you may be seeing this person's name a lot or hearing their name a lot, like through ads or movies or something like that, you know, or song lyrics or... Um, yeah, you're getting a lot of sign synchronicities. This thing is going down the tubes. They want to end this karmic situation so they can have a new beginning with you. Okay, that's what they want. And I feel like this karmic knows it, and she's trying to pressure your person. Uh, but that's coming to an end so they can have their wish fulfillment. It's the same exact cards, guys. It's coming to an end. This is a death card going down in flames. So they can have wish fulfillment with you. And this is a wish. Okay, it's the same exact stuff. Yep, they want to talk to you so bad, Cancer. Um, and they know they missed out on love here, real love. They, they really screwed up. They made a very poor decision. And um, now this person... Here's the thing. They're not they're not living their dreams because they're living their fears. They need to get their courage up and speak their truth. Yeah, look, they want this new beginning with you. Oh my gosh. Cancer, this person is so in love with you. Okay? They are. All they can think about is talking to you and not missing this opportunity. All right, what else can you show me? You could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here with the um, planes going down in flames. Yeah, look, they're in so much regret over this. They know they turned their back on the real deal here. They, all they do is sit and cry and sit and cry and roll around at night and cry. Okay, thinking about you. They're thinking about all the things that, I, I feel like they're thinking about all the things you guys did when you were together. What it was like when you first got together. The feeling that you gave this person. I don't know why they turned their back on you. Yeah, clarify that. Why did this person turn their back on cancer? It was there it, it, this is a twin flame perhaps. I feel like this person was already with a karmic, okay? And you were you were a big temptation to them. There was something about your energy, something about the connection. They always felt that connection with you. They may not have told you that, cancer, but they did. That's never stopped. It's never went away. 
okay? But I feel like maybe they had already been with this karmic. And I don't know, they just made an impulsive decision here and went towards somebody else. Yeah, they could have already been in a commitment. You know, I feel like this person, whether they're being pressured into a marriage or they were already committed cancer, this is ending in divorce. They do not want to be with this person anymore. Okay? I feel like the passion is out of that situation. I feel like the karmic is trying all they can do to rekindle that romance, but it's not working. Okay, maybe she, like I said, she may be thinking that marriage will do it. I don't know what she's trying to do here, but she's trying her best to rekindle it, and it's just the flame is out. There's no passion, no love left between the two of them. You know, and I feel like this person went back. They first, they, they couldn't resist you, okay? You were something that they felt they couldn't resist. You were a huge temptation for this person. But then, you know, after a short time with you, Cancer, I feel like they went back to this karmic. And that's when they possibly got themselves committed or they're on the way to the altar, okay? And they don't want this, they don't want to be committed to that karmic. So, you know, then when they left, they put you in a mental prison. You had no idea what was going on. You were waiting for answers and explanation, okay? Um, you were probably surrounded by a community of people that talked about you, blamed you, you know? And so you worked on yourself, by yourself, because everyone else turned on you. You took the blame for this, I feel. And now you're, you're in a place of... Um, financial stability, success, like you, you really put in the effort and transformed your life here, you know? So I know that it, it took this, this person was gone from you a long time. It could have been for some of you anywhere from two to eight years. And now they want to come back around. This is why they're like, what, what did I do? What was I thinking? I feel like they're they're amazed at their ability to make such a huge mistake. <laughs> That's you know what I mean? Yeah, they decided to breadcrumb you. They told you lies, in and out energy. Maybe they came in and took advantage of you cancer when you were at a time of struggle. You know, it's really sad what they did to you, but here's the thing. From, from out of the ashes, right? Um, from out of the ashes, a star was born, and that's you. <laughs> Honestly, I might, that's pretty good, actually. Um, I might just name the title that, right? Um, but yeah, out of the ashes, a star was born. Um, you rose. You know, this person came at you with toxic energy, and put you out in the cold and caused you a tower moment. But the divine was there to pick you back up. The divine called to you and said, we've got something better for you. We have something planned for you. Get up, soldier, right? So you did. And from those ashes of the tower and the devil rose the star. A star was born. And that is you. Now you're, you're in this light worker energy, possibly in the public eye, being all kinds of stunning and beautiful, okay? Um, peaceful, serene, very knowledgeable. You've got hidden knowledge straight from the divine. You're a messenger, an empath, a healer, and you're out here doing good works for other people, and they're able to see it. This person literally can't stop watching you. They can't rest. They can't sleep. They can't stop crying about this. Okay? It's only their fear that holds them back, but they need to realize that fear is just learned behavior, you know? 
It's learned behavior. I feel like if they realize that, they could find the strength to speak the truth. And I feel like that's what they need to do. Otherwise, they're still juggling, okay? They're in a, um, a physical relationship with a karmic while they're pining for you. Falling apart for you, wanting that, wanting their empress, okay? Wanting their light worker, their star. In the energy that you're into, Cancer, you don't need anyone, but you're single. You're single with, with everything that you need and then some. The only thing you don't have in this picture is a soulmate at your side, okay? But you've got nine pentacles here just for you. You're also this person's ten of cups. So really, if they came towards you with a pentacle, with the right offer, right? Um, you know, you could, you could have come together and built an empire together, okay? But I feel like this person tricked you. They manipulated you, like I said, at a, in, during a time of struggle, possibly thinking that you would never, um, you would never have enough money. You didn't, maybe they didn't like the way that you dressed. Maybe you had a dirty job. You know, you weren't afraid to get your hands dirty and put in the work here. Maybe they thought that you had a silly idea that you were trying to create here. You know what? I, you, you flipped on this person. You went from someone that they underestimated greatly into the true treasure in the deck. And all of this transformation, you've transformed your whole entire life, your cancer. And now I feel like um, you know your value, you know your worth, and this person knows there's a good chance that they've lost you forever. You know, they're feeling that pain, cancer. This person's in love with you. And the more they watch you, the more they love you, and the more they fall apart. Yep, and you're out here moving forward. You've learned your lessons from this. They've watched you transform from somebody who was hurt and struggling, somebody who was taken advantage of um, at a difficult time in their life and, and betrayed to the world card, the empress, and the star. Okay, and I feel like you do have some kind of, I don't know, you could have your own public platform. You're in the public eye somehow as a healer, an, emp an empath spreading that, that spiritual knowledge, right? Inspiring other people, raising vibrations. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing here. This person triggered you into this transformation. You know, they did. They triggered you to start this journey, that a journey that you will never flipping forget. Okay? World card. Learned your lessons. And this has brought you great success. You know, um, you're leveling up. You're upgrading. You know, I just feel like You've really been put through a huge battle here, Cancer. But they've, they've watched you um, in awe bounce back. Like uh, you rose from the ashes like a, like a flipping phoenix, okay? <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, you did, though. Clarify this Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands out here for Cancer? I'm just feeling like this is the Phoenix from the Ashes, you know? Um, all of the fighting, all of the chaos you had to go through, all of the drama you've had to go through, okay? with the five of wands, but you add the ace of wands to it, that's the six of wands, and the six of wands is a victory. So I feel like, Cancer, this is you. 
This is you having the victory after everything that you've been put through. The chaos, the drama, the fighting, the spiritual attacks. This is your victory right here. That phoenix rising from the ashes, Cancer. Okay? That's, that's what this is. I feel like, too, this person, I feel like they started some kind of competition, too, with this, with this karmic. She's, um, they may know that this person wants to fight, actually. They're very jealous, very envious of you. You know, and I feel like you may even know she wants to fight or may want to talk to you or confront you somehow. But you know what? You're not listening. She may have already tried to reach out to you, send you some kind of message, and you just held your head up high. You're not dealing with this person. You know, I feel like when you were used and tossed aside, Cancer, that's when your, your obligation to this connection really ended. And this person knows it. But you had all this time to become a star, right? You had all this time um, to, to have a glow up and work on you. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like they really, sorry, Cancer, they really missed out on the best thing that ever happened to them here. And they know it. Not only, Cancer, are you soft, you're a healer, you're the sweetheart in the zodiac, right? Um, you're this person's, you're an empath, you're their inspiration, you're their everything, but you're also the strongest person that they've ever witnessed before, ever. They've never seen anybody rise from the ashes like you did. Okay, it's, it's inspired this person. I feel like they, um, they admire you, they're proud of you, and this person wants you back. They see you as the one for them, okay? I, I feel like they're really upset with themselves right now for making that kind of mistake because it was a massive mistake. That's going to affect their future, possibly for years to come. Okay, but this person, at current energy cancer, um, as it is right now in the middle of the night, this person is crying over this. Just absolutely um, dumbfounded by the kind of mistake that they made and the kind of consequences that came with it. Okay? They lost out on you. Anyway, Cancer, listen, I'm going to take this into the extended. I want to see when is this person approaching you? I know they're going to approach you. I know they are. They're, they're, they're wanting you back. They're leaving behind a karmic um, and, and everyone else in that, in that circle, okay? They're walking away from this karmic situation. They don't want it anymore. And I feel like this person's going to come right back around to you. So I want to see what happens next, okay? Um, if you're interested in that extended, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box below, okay? That'll take you straight to Patreon. Anyway, Cancer, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.